All right. Now we're doing Freight Code Camp, JavaScript Algorithms and Data Structures, JavaScript Algorithms and Data Structures Projects, Palindrome Checker. All right. So now we're going to return true if the given string is a palindrome. Otherwise, we're going to return false. All right. So a palindrome is a word or sentence that's spelled the same way both forward and backward, ignoring punctuation, case, and spacing. So here's a note. We're going to need to remove all non-alphanumeric characters, punctuation, spaces, and symbols, and turn everything into the same case, lower or upper case, in order to check for palindromes, all right? So we're going to pass strings with, uh, we're going to have passed to us Strings with varying formats, such as race car, race car, and race car, all like this, capital on these ones, uh, space and capitals on this one, amongst, among others, pardon me. Uh, we're also going to have uh, strings passed to us with special symbols, such as these right here, where it's got a uh, star, it's got a space, this one's got underscore, star, hashtag, and uh, so we're just going to have to remove those first and foremost, right? So yeah, there's a big hint right here. We're going to need to remove all alphanumeric characters uh, and turn everything into the same case, lowercase, to start with. So we're going to start with that, and we're going to come over here and we're going to say let normalized equals something, right? So we'll say str.replace, and we've done replace so much in uh, this uh, JavaScript algorithms and data structures. I'm sure we don't need to go to the... Uh, MDM page for that. So what we're going to do here is we're going to say we're going to have the uh, regex in here and then we're going to have the character class and inside the character class we're going to have the negated character symbol like this right here, right? And so we're going to say replace everything that's not a capital A through capital Z, everything that's not a lowercase a through lowercase z, and everything that's not a uh, Hmm, a number. So zero, a zero, hold on, zero through nine, <laughs> like that. And what we're going to replace it with is, come on now, come on now, is an empty string. All right, there we go. So let's come down here and say console.log normalized. So console.log normalized. All right. And you see it does say I, and that looks good, but let's uh, let's get a much more difficult one. Let's get this a man, a plan, a canal, Panama right here. Copy that, put it in here, and it only does it once. Why is that? Why is that? Well, you know what? As usual, we, for, we forgot the global search flag, right? And so when we put that in there, now it's got this going on, but it still has capital letters. So let's drop that down with some lowercase and say dot to lower case like this. And now we've got this right here. As you can see, if you read it backwards, this is a palindrome, right? But we got to make sure it's a palindrome. So we're going to say let reversed equal normalized dot reverse. All right. Up, oh, but normalized dot reverse is not a function. All right, I don't know if we went through reverse or not, but uh, we're gonna go back over here. And the thing about the thing about the reverse method is it we have to do it on arrays. We can't just do it on strings. It's not that it's not that cool. All right. So what we're gonna do to make this a string? Um, pardon me, an array is we're gonna wrap this up in an array, and let's uh, actually say let's get reverse down here. And you can see now it's just one, uh, it's just the string in an array. So what we're going to do in front of this is we're going to have the spread syntax and say dot, 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 like that. And you can see now we've got the whole array like that. So now that it's, re and it's reversed for that matter. So what we're going to do here is we're going to say uh, dot join to join it all together by the, by the uh, spaces in between characters or by the empty string, whatever you want to say. And you can see this looks just like this, all right? So now what we're gonna do is come down here and say return normalized. If normalized equals reversed, return true, uh, D, normalized. If normalized equals reverse, 
return true. If not, return false. Let's wrap this up in parentheses. Say console.log in front of that, console.log. And you can see it does say true. Let's get something that's not true though. Let's get this 5.4. All right, copy that. Drop that off right here. And it says false, so we know it works. All right, so let's run the test. Looks good and submit it. All right, now we're on to normal, pardon me, Roman numeral converter. And we'll see you next time.